Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we could start off with the gold daily chart, and we can see the 1660 is starting to come in a little bit as our point of resistance. And even though we we have gotten some wicks above there. And even though we have, uh, you can see the wicks that we've gotten above there and a couple closed candles above there, but we can also see our 20 moving average acting as resistance. So, uh, again, until we can get some more volume down here and, be, uh, and begin to uh, see price action break above the 20 moving average, uh, we may consider to consolidate in this range, which we've been doing for really a month. I mean, you can see this is August 26th about. So about three weeks that we've just been going sideways, ever so slightly higher. Here we are on our market profile, and again, you can kind of get a range. Look at the volume accumulate uh, as we move higher. So there's definitely a lot of volume right here, a lot of sideways action, and we need a catalyst to move, to, just like the market and our pairs need a catalyst to move, uh, so do, does gold. So starting off with the euro dollar. And we've made our move uh, above the 20, uh, sort of a rising three pattern here. Now we have a couple of inside bars here. Um, as we move sideways, uh, are we going to make it all the way to the 50 moving average? Uh, the thing about it is that this move here, volume died off. Volume saved us as we broke through 133. The volume came in and protected this. But as we're moving higher, volume kind of went off, although it is on average with where it was in the past. But it's still a little bit lighter than this volume in here. Um, so we'll have to see resistance of the uh, 50 moving average is at 1.39, and you can see our other resistance up here at 1.37. We can see on the one hour time frame that we're still watching our uptrend line. Uh, the price is above our long term moving average, and we're in the sell zone, above our long term moving average, and we're in the sell zone. Ever so fractionally, the uh, dollar is in control, but you can see basically they're both sitting here at parity at zero, which is kind of why we see this price action uh, going sideways. When we got a little divergence in here, price action did move up because the euro was in control, but overall we see a little side action here. Uh, the euro is averaging higher while the dollar continues to move sideways with a little spike down and up, but overall it's still sideways. Sellers are in control. Moving on to the pound dollar, you can see we're still in a range, even though we broke above the 20 moving average here, we're still in this range with uh, 1.57 being the top of the range. Will we move up to the uh, 50 moving average? You can see uh, the other thing to look at here on the uh, daily is that we're going to have to watch this price action right in here uh, and see if that matches up with the 50 moving average as we move up here. But a couple inside bars, a uh, couple uh, indecision as the market's trying to adjust. Again, this is a move up. Now that we're up here resistance, we need the volume to come in to get this breakout, and we're not getting the volume to break us out. The market's deciding whether or not we want to move up out of the range or move back lower. We are in a sell zone. We're above our long-term moving average. And you see we've been watching this 1.55 on a one-hour time frame. See, we bounce at our long-term moving average. In the sell zone, the dollar just took control once again, but for the most part, with this sideways action here, 
you can see that's kind of why we got this consolidation going on up here also. The pound is averaging higher, and just like before, we see the dollar moving sideways. Even though we got a little blip down and up, it's moving sideways, and here also the sellers are in control. Finally, moving on to the dollar franc, we can see um, price action pulling back here, testing our previous resistance price level, became support, support once again, watching our uptrend line, watching the 200 moving average, couple inside bars here. Here you can see the volume really kicked in here to, to move us higher and now we'll see it's peeling off here as we're pulling back so hopefully that means we'll get a, a continuation back in the direction of the uptrend here. Here we can see on the long term side we are in a buy zone while we're just above the long term moving average. The dollar is in control but we can see the franc averaging higher and once again the dollar going sideways with a couple blips in and out of it. Here the buyers are in control so we'll watch this daily chart make sure this resistance can, sorry, support can hold up and let the market again decide as it's digesting the, the move higher for the euro for the pound and now backwards for the dollar which way does the market want to go now as we come to our watch list for today our low volatility watch list is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands and we have the mother load and for our inside of our watch list is watching today's range compared to yesterday and we also have the mother load. Uh, pretty much all of our pairs both are forming up their uh, Bollinger Band pinching and their, their trend range were inside of yesterday's day. So again, uh, we'll continue to look for whether or not we're going to get that move in continuation of the uptrend that's happening in, on most pairs or if we're it was just a one or two day move and we're going to pull back. As we move to our education spotlight, we continue to talk about trading plans and we talked about this a little bit yesterday and the golden rule of trading is to cut your losses and let your winners run. One of the major objectives of being a successful trader is to let the probability work in your favor. Well, you can only let probability work in your favor if you have money to trade. So you got to cut your losses let your winners run. You got to only be trading money you can afford to lose and not uh, money that you can't lose so that you're not allowing your emotions to inter interrupt and mess with your trading. So, you know, cut your losses, let your winners run. That's hard too. Letting your winners run is hard too. You know, a lot of people get that target and then they, they cut themselves. I have that issue uh, from time to time myself. But if you're really going to change your profit results, letting your winners run is truly a way to uh, pad the results. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have our page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free five course video on high probability trading. It helps you frame your trading and lets you know what should be uh, taken into concept as far as your uh, trading stuff, what criteria. Hopefully, that will give you a gauge to who we are as coaches and how we can help you one on one uh, develop that plan, develop that trader's mindset to where you're cutting your losses, let your winners run, where you're letting your probabilities work in your favor. Cash back before it's trade. If you're trading for it, so why not get paid to trade? Rebates for your trade. Doesn't change your spread. Doesn't change your conditions. Just rebates for your trades. And finally, if you want the singles, automatic signals, you can get the singles trading for yourself or have it automatic, automatically traded. But in the end, it doesn't make a difference about your system, your indicator, if you're afraid to pull the trigger or if you're afraid to trade because you're afraid of losing money or you're afraid to trade because. Uh, the, you're not letting your probabilities work. You got if you get ten out of uh, twenty going to work, and you had ten wrong, and you, you're letting the numbers go against you instead of with you. Let the numbers work. Stay in the game. Cut your losses and let your winners run. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.